Hey folks, Matt from right of the image.com. Just playing with a little XT20 because we got a question in on the comments from Sue. She says, Fuji XT20 or Canon M50? Which should I buy? I'm confused. And you know what, Sue? I get it. I understand why you're confused because you know what? They're two fantastic little cameras. I love this little Fuji XT20. I love the design and the styling as a lot of us do on the Fuji X series. I love this 50 f2 prime that I have on here. makes a great portrait lens. In 35 millimeter equivalent field of view terms, this is a 75. So very close to an 85, our traditional portrait lens. So that's why I love 50s on crop sensor bodies. This is just a great little camera. Um, it does 4K, has an incredible autofocus system. It's small, it's lightweight. I love the styling and the Fuji lenses are something in and of themselves. This, I've said it many times, this 18 to 55, 2, 8 to 4 kit from Fuji, this kit lens. It's probably the nicest kit lens ever made. It's a beautiful lens, metal body, um, smooth zoom, just extremely good build quality and fit and finish for a kit lens. Probably the best I've ever seen in a kit lens. Um, great setup. Again, though, I really like the Canon M50. Really enjoyed that camera. I'm still evaluating it and testing it, but I don't really have any negatives uh, on the M50. Uh, I wish it had the extra command dial up top, but again, we're not looking at the top end mirrorless, even in the APS-C line. I'm expecting we're going to see a higher level one from Canon. Um, for the price, it's hard to complain about just about anything with that camera because it's a great price for a good performing little camera. First APS-C body that Canon gave us 4K in, yeah, we, don't, we have a heavy crop and we don't get dual pixel AF with it, but you still got 4K and it's pretty decent. What, uh, the 1080 out of it is fantastic, and you can use dual pixel AF in the 1080 on the Canon M50. So if you're vlogging, it's almost a natural that that's the camera. That's probably one of my number one, if not my number one current vlogging camera that I would recommend is an M50. Great. Small, lightweight, Canon dual pixel AF. 4K there if you need it. Uh, access to all the Canon lenses, uh, whether M series lenses or the rest of them through an adapter. Just a great camera. And so it's kind of hard to choose. Uh, if you're more into video and more into vlogging, I probably would go towards the Canon simply for having, getting that dual pixel AF and the 4K. Although this camera is still very good at that too. It does very good um, autofocus and autofocus during video. It's no slouch. It's better than um, the Nikon DSLRs, which I'm expecting to see an improvement on soon with the, Can the, the uh, Nikon mirrorless. Uh, however... Um, it's, it's tough. I, I would try, if you can, get out to your local camera store if that's at all possible. Get them both in your hand and see what you think. Um, you're probably going to get the M50 at a better deal right now. That may sway you. I'll put links below. You can check them out. Um, for me, if I was only choosing one, it'd be a very hard decision. But for my needs, because I do a lot of video and I like to do a lot of vlogging and things too, uh, I would probably go with the Canon M50. And um, But that's not knocking the X-T20. I love this camera. If you're probably more of a photo shooter with video on the side, then this may be the way to go then. And that might be when I flip and go with the X-T20. But again, the X-T20 is a great camera. The only thing it doesn't do is it only has the flip-up screen as far as for vlogging. So that's where it falls down for vlogging. It's not... A negative it's just inherent in the design so it's not doesn't it's not you know not every camera can be everything to everybody so it's not the best vlogging camera let me throw it back to you guys what would you guys do do you lean more towards the m50 and is that because you like vlogging and video like me or would you buy the m50 anyways or would you prefer an xt20 this lens setup is incredible with an xt20 which way would you go and why let me know in the comments below let's help out sue uh make her decision it's kind of a tough decision even a tough decision for me i i have a hard time really making the decision and i guess i said i would lean more towards the m50 simply because i do a lot of video not that this isn't capable of it but just a few things that i like more on the canon side for video and namely just having that dual pixel af but let me know what you guys think comments below Looking forward to hearing back from you. Um, it's always great to hear your feedback and help out our viewers when they're making a decision like this. Thanks for your question, Sue. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.